All right, I'm going to do a little bit of an update on these primers before I continue testing my primers. These Servicico Adventuras from Argentina. When I went to test these primers, uh, I had this Taurus pistol, which had problems with light striking on the ammo. And when I used these primers, I had a 50% failure rate. So part of the problem with this, and the reason I use this gun, is because it's, there's a problem with the striker spring and the striker in the gun. That's why I got the light strikes with some ammo. This gun was very sensitive to ammo. Now there are certain brands of ammo that are right out of the box. This gun ran 100%. And I just did an update video on the modifications I've done to this gun. So what I did is I changed the striker spring with a much, uh, a little bit more stronger spring, actually a Glock spring, it's not made for this gun. And I went out and I ran the same test to be fair, because when I go on with my other brands of primers using this gun as a baseline, in other words, this gun was the weak link. If there was gonna be a problem, it was gonna be with this pistol. And that's why I did my testing of the primers that way. Well, to be fair, in my testing of the primers, after I modified the gun, and I'm going to test the other brands, I re-ran a 20-round test of ammunition reloaded with this primer. And here are the results. So I want to be fair in my assessment of the five different primers I will be testing here. Uh, so I re-ran the test. All right. In this video, we're going to talk about primers. In the Argentine Servisco Argent Adventurous or whatever primers, when I tested these primers, before we, and before we go on testing the other brands, uh, I had a 50% failure rate in this Taurus G3C. Now, I recently just did some work and changed the springs on this. Now, bear this in mind because this is probably going to askew the rest of the testing. I'm still going to use this gun as a baseline in the testing, but I've replaced the spring. And now we're going to go back and we're going to rerun the test on them primers with 20 rounds. Okay, now remember, I had a 50% failure rate. Now let's see what we get now after this changing the spring. We'll do a restrike just to be fair. Yep. And clean. So, what was the defect in the gun? We went from a 50% failure rate to 5%, I guess, 20 shots, 1, 5, 10%. So that means the gun may need to replace the striker itself, but a more powerful spring made a difference. So I'm going to have to say that these primers are really not that bad. Okay, because it only had one other light strike in the Taurus GX4. So now when we go on with our primer testing, I've got the other brands out here. We're going to try to run them through these pistols and see what results we end up with. 